So time for another Content Wars video. Today I'm going to rank every gun in the game in a tier list going from S tier to D tier. So it goes from S is the highest, then A, then B, then C, then D. So what a tier list basically is, is I'm going to subjectively rank all the guns in the game based on how good I think they are. And it's basically going to be how good are they for the class they are in and how good their class is in general. So a, a good shotgun, maybe mid tier and may beat a bad assault rifle but a mediocre assault rifle may still be on the same tier as a good shotgun just because assault rifles in general are a better class than shotguns so for anyone wondering um, what skill tree I have so can they can see how easily I get the weapon stats that I'll be showing I have a pretty basic tree right now it's 147 XP spent uh, I basically got this to um, level up quickly to level 60 because low levels were boring the shit out of me so yeah and keep in mind even though i don't have all the guns on this account i still have them on other accounts and i used all the guns it's not like i'm judging guns that i've never used it's just on this specific all i don't have them all and i gotta go for the guns pretty quickly although i had this longest intro because there's 99 guns and if i would spend one minute per gun this entire video would be over an hour long so, PM's pets, NAS, lowest tier, D tier, it's just too weak. You need to be really skilled to even use it decently. If you're really good, maybe C tier. APS, honestly, <laughs> just really bad, D tier. Uh, Raging Judge, doesn't consistently one shot. In my opinion, unless you're really close. If it did, I would probably maybe put it C tier. But it's also slow. As um, The reload speed and the fire rate is also slow, that's what I meant. So I'm going to put it in D tier. PMM-12, I kind of like this pistol. So personally for me it's a C tier. But I could very well understand people who just put it in D tier. Because it's not exactly anything special. D Eagle, I'm going to put in B tier. Because it's um, quite powerful. Quite accurate. One of my favorite pistols in the game. Yeah, Keep in mind, I am i didn't actually think prior to this video what tier I'm putting every gun in. So I'm just doing this on the top of my head. So, I may regret putting certain guns in certain tiers, or the decision is a bit rushed, but I generally know. Uh, Dev Crew, I just find it really weak, D tier. Um, key EDR, Ketter, however you want to say it. I'm going to put it in C tier, because I think for close range, still a really good gun. And I think even up to like, um, weapon set 3, I would use it as the, like the best SMG there is, so I kind of like it. MP5. Like, the reason I'm not a huge fan of this is because it's an SMG, and the, the mobility and, and, and all is pretty fast, but for some reason, I feel like it's not fast enough for me to like it as an SMG, and it's not powerful enough for me to like it as a close to mid-range gun, so I'm going to put it in D tier. Uh, KEC, PW, uh, I'm going to be rough here and put it in D tier, I'll probably put it in C. But I think for an assault rifle, it's just really bad. But as a gun itself, I'll probably put it in C tier, but being a bit rough on D tier. I mean, it is weapon set once, so most of the guns are going to be pretty bad, but... IZH. If, if you had asked me this um, a few years ago, back in the good old days, in low-level servers, I would have probably put it in A tier, to be honest. And I'm still a huge fan of it. I think it's probably the most consistent one-shot shotgun. On the range you should actually be using shotguns on. And it still has the naughty reload speed. Not as good as the old days but. So I'm just going to put this in uh, B tier. Uh, SV98. I'm going to put it in D tier. When I first started playing this game. I bought the SV98. I took it to Lighthouse. I aimed on enemies. And then I shot. And then I thought why didn't that hit. And I kept doing that. And only like half my shots were hitting while I was straight on him. So then I found out that the SV-98 has a base accuracy of 84 and is just inaccurate as fuck with the skill tree I had. So even as a sniper rifle, I think it's just pretty bad. Um, AKS-74U, I never really liked it. I'm just going to put it on D tier because of that. MP5 SD6 SMG, I think it's too weak, so I'm going to put it in D tier. Uh, TKPD Storm Carabine, I'm going to put it in C tier because of the one-shot potential and the accuracy. 
uh, I would have put it higher, but it's really loud, really slow, so I, it has a spot on the seat here. AKMS, for, especially for tier 1, I think this is a very good all-round assault rifle, to be honest. And it's, like, cheap as well. So, especially for starters, if you want to get a good assault rifle early on, I would recommend this gun, to be honest. I'm going to put it in B tier. Uh, the Mosin, I hate to say this, that I would put it in D tier. Because I actually love this gun. Just because of how it sounds, how it looks. The type of gun it is. It's an awful, it's an awful gun to be honest. But I actually love it. Years ago they would give one free GP gun away. And I got uh, ABR Marksman. My friend got the Mosin and he absolutely hated it. So I went to my friend's house. I played Contact Wars. And I used this gun because I didn't have it on my own account. And the first time I play with it I get like this 30 kill streak. Even though it's inaccurate as fuck and I absolutely love this gun but in general especially the no scopes are so inaccurate that it's just a pretty awful gun the scope is awful so it's still a D tier although I love it um sh page I, I can't pronounce it ppsh that's better this is a tough one for me I in a low tier server I could see this being a B or a C tier, but how it, how the game currently is in the high level servers, I would say this is a D tier as well. So, weapon set 1, not exactly great rankings, but as we move on, the guns get better. Uh, H and K USP pistol. People are going to hate me for this, but I'm going to put it in D tier. I don't know if you customize it, it can get really good. Or so I've heard, I don't like it at all. So... I guess objectively you could say it's a C tier, but I put it in D tier anyway. Uh, Six Sour, also a D tier for me. I just don't really like um, these pistols. It's like it's still a subjective list, and I kind of don't like them. Glock 18, as you can see, is my pistol of choice together with the D Eagle and Enforcer. I'm gonna put the Glock in. It's a good question. I'm gonna put the Glock in A tier. Because I think it can match up against SMGs pretty well in deathmatch in general. Which for a pistol in my opinion is insane. Like as long as you uh, get headshots. I, I, I would main this in a deathmatch server. Like if I would get bored I would just purely use this. As long as you get the headshots like really powerful. But because it's still a pistol I'm not going to put it in S tier. Because of course you have still the range limit. Uh, with customization. Yeah I have fully customized. It gets even better just because of the sight. The old gun without customization had this had a silencer that blocked iron sights, which was pretty annoying. Um, for D tier, pretty obviously, like j just the reload speed alone that that basically makes it D tier, and pretty awful accuracy as well. Uh, Benelli D tier, I hate this shotgun absolutely. It's the worst shotgun in the game. I might even call it the worst gun in the game. I absolutely hate it. It's it's so it feels so weak for a shotgun. Scar L, decent uh, low tier assault rifle. I'm gonna put in the C tier, especially for the tier it's in. It has pretty good accuracy, and for new users, this is a, this is a great gun to pick up. <clears throat> especially if you're thinking about either getting the RPK or the Scar L, I would definitely go for the Scar L. RPK, low C tier. I've um, I've used it quite a lot before. It's pretty good. The old side on it. Yeah, now it's at customization, but I think it's this side. It was pretty awful with the visual recoil. But it's not a bad gun. Um Bison. I don't get why this gun feels so awful to me and plays so awful. Like with the stats and the customization, it, it gets pretty decent. But I still think it's a bad gun, so I'm gonna put in D tier. Uh QB. 8-8. That's a tough one for me to be honest. I'm going to say high D tier. I don't like it at all. I've never really used it that much. Because I basically used it and I was like. This isn't for me. SR3M. SR3M was my most used gun. In like 2014. And it was so good. And I loved it so much. And then they nerfed it. And then I hated it. And then it got customization. 
I think right now if you fully customize it, which I haven't on this account, but let's ignore that. I think this is still an 8 tier assault rifle just because of how powerful it is. And maybe a bit of nostalgia as well. So I'm going to put in an 8 tier. Um, if you had asked me this 2015, I would have said this is the best gun in the game. It's an S tier for sure. TKPD, I'm going to put in C tier as well. Just like the, the carbine. Same thing, except with the scope. Doesn't really change my opinion. MK14, this gun, I think it's out of the game. Is it? I think you can't get this gun anymore. I might be wrong. I think I only have it because I bought it before or something. Um, it's not a C tier. Same for the the TKPD carbines, just because it's so slow, powerful. Huge recoil, same reasons really. <clears throat> gold AKMS, I basically use this on my old account over the AKMS just because it was gold. But yeah, it's basically the same. It's a B tier rifle, it's pretty good. It's nice to flex on. I think it still has this aim bug where sometimes if you zoom in, you basically look uh, next to the iron sights and can't use them at all. So I don't think they fixed it. Uh, called IAR, the, I think in my opinion this is the best LMG in the game, especially with full customization. I remember in when I was level 20 on my first account and I just started playing this game, I got spawn trapped and basically killed over and over again by Super P O R N. This is a family friendly channel. And he was just spawn killing the shit out of me. And I was like, that gun I must have. And then I realized it's not that good. But it's just easy to spawn and kill people in Conflict Wars. So I'm gonna put it in B tier. This is the best LMG. I just think LMGs in general aren't that good in uh, Conflict Wars. Springfield Operator, this was my favorite pistol when I was a low level player. Um, I'm gonna put it in a C tier. I think for a pistol it's like, it's a good pistol. Especially if you're a low level and you don't want to get a GP pistol. I would definitely recommend getting this one. The OTSS OTS 33 Pernog. It's not a C tier just because it's automatic. I, I don't like this at all. I always prefer to enforcer over it. This just felt so off. I know um, Orcus from God used to use it. And I was like, I can't comprehend why you would want to use that gun. So for me it's a C tier. Just because I know it's better than these pistols. But I don't think it's good either. Uh, USP Max is not a C tier just because of its accuracy. Especially in hardcore you can actually pop off hats with this thing. This was the first GP gun that I bought in the game ever, after I got this one for free. And yeah, just the accuracy itself, I, I, I think it's really good. Um, the sawed off IZH, uh, I don't like it, it's a D tier for me. I guess some people could put it on C tier, but I think that's the highest it will go. Uh, MP133. I don't know, if you're like, if you're a low level player, and this is like, one of the highest sets you have unlocked, I think it's a C tier, but for me, it's it's a high D tier, like, it, it's just, there's nothing special about it, I think it's pretty bad. Uh, M40A6, in hardcore, this, this weapon is really good, it's just, in hardcore, this feels accurate, this feels powerful, this feels fun to use, but in normal mode, I, I, I would never use this at all. I think it's really bad. So I'll put it on a C tier just because of how it is in hardcore. Like a high C tier. I think if it wouldn't be as good in hardcore, it would be a low C tier. Uh, AUG A3. Yeah, it's it's nothing special. I think it's pretty good to sold rifle. Pretty low tier. I'm just putting it on C tier. It's not bad. And uh, the 416C. That's not how you're supposed to pronounce it, but okay. Just another low tier decent assault rifle, so that's another C tier for me. Uh, SR2M Varesk SMG. When I trialed for um, Lead 1337, when they were actually relevant and I thought they were good until I left them, <laughs> um, I forgot his name, but the then leader used this gun in the trial against me. And I had like 20 armor back in the day. 
and this gun was killing me so fast. Like, this is one of those examples, if you're a low level user, it's pretty good. If you're not, it, it gets noticeably worse. I'm, I'm just going to put it on a C tier, I think it's not that bad. Uh, PDR, for a while I was really using this gun because for low tier, I think from the CR guns in set 3, this is my favorite. Just in general, it was pretty good on um, close range maps, pretty accurate, pretty powerful for the weapon set and for a CR gun. So I'll put it in a high C tier. EBR Marksman Rifle, this was the gun I got for three years ago. When my friend got uh, the most in. The thing I don't like is it it's it has 101 damage with my skill tree. But because of the way Contact Wars is. With all the people that have armor and all the people that have like plus 5 health from their clans. This gun feels pretty weak to me. So I'll put it on a C tier. I think Marksmen in general are generally B, C tier. Because they're just generally, they're alright basically in general. So I think if the game was different and less people had so much armor and health, this could definitely be a high B tier. But the way this is, this just feels like a C tier to me. In uh, hardcore, these guns are really good though. Uh, DT SRS MK2. <clears throat> it's a quite a similar story to the EBR Marksman, except the the damage is lower, which doesn't really matter due to how um, how the EBR marksman basically never one shots anyway so I'm actually gonna put it in a low B tier just because I really like how this gun plays in hardcore and I think if you frequently play hardcore sawmill um, you should definitely try out this gun Asphalt Cobra uh, the customization it's a bit iffy to me I don't really like um, the fact that it got customized too much like it already had the silencer what more do you really want to do to it I think the side itself was fine. I think this is a um, a B tier rifle. Just to generally, I think it's a good rifle. I have a at least one video on it. I, can, I don't remember if I have multiple, but yeah, it's definitely a high B tier. It's a really sold sold rifle, definitely for set free. HK 417D. D this rifle was really popular for a while, and I feel like I should be putting it in like an A or a B tier. But I hate how this gun feels. And I hate the recoil of it. So just because of that, I'm going to put in a C tier. And I think if this was a uh, set 1 to 3 tier list, this would be an A tier. It's one of the best low um, set weapons for most people. But when I hate the feel of a gun, I don't really like playing with it at all. So it's just a C tier to me. Um, HK Tor... 243 LMG. Another C tier. I don't really have much to say about it. Tried it out. It's just a low tier LMG to me. Don't think anything special. MDRC is a um, high tier C to me. I would definitely prefer the Asphalt Cobra and the DTS over any of these rifles. But I think for an assault rifle. It, it's alright. I really don't know have much to say about some of these guns. It's alright. I don't think it's good. I don't think it's awful. I don't recommend buying it though. Uh, Beretta 9.2. I know some people are going wild over it since it got customization. For me, it's just... Yeah, it's not that special anyway. I'm going to put it in D tier just because it's a pistol. Like, it's a pretty good pistol, but pistols in general are pretty... Not special compared to guns, so it's still a. It's really close to a C tier to me, but I'm still gonna put it on D. Cold Python. Uh, because of the damage, I think if you effectively use this pistol, you can get a lot of out of it. And it's almost like a really, really budget Desert Eagle. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it on a, um, a low C tier. GSH 18. This this was a this was the favorite pistol of a lot of people I knew, and I absolutely hated it in normal mode. But when I used it in hardcore, it was actually like quite good, and I actually liked using this in hardcore. But in general, I don't think 
yeah, I'm not that much of a fan of it. I'm just gonna put it in a, I'll put it in a C tier. Uh, the Sega 12K. Th this is the noob gun, especially back in the day when I first leveled up to level 40, and you got these uh, 40 to 60 servers. Everybody around this level was using this shotgun, and because of semi because it's semi-automatic, it's at a C tier for me. And it's not that bad, but this this was the classic noob gun. But now there's an even worse noob gun. So it's gonna be a C tier for me. SVD sniper rifle. That's a C tier because it's semi-automatic. I don't really like it, but it's pretty good. M4A1 custom. In the old days, the best CR gun basically was between the M4A1. And the AK-105. And I think every good player. Every veteran. Either liked this one the most. Or the AK-105. And it used to have these. Um, these insane stats that basically made it a headshot machine. So if you put. If, if this list was a few years ago. This would have been an S tier right here. I think with customization. It can still get really good. And because it's a CR gun. I'll be a bit gentle on it. I'm going to put it in an A tier. Because this was without a doubt one of the best guns in the game. At some point. But now it dropped off to like a low A, a tier to me. Um, RFB. It's not bad. I don't really like it. It's it's alright. For weapon set 4 I think it's pretty underwhelming. It's going to be a high C tier to me. Uh, Scorpion. Yeah just a weak SMG. It's not too special. I kind of liked it. Um, I don't really have much to say about some of these guns. I just find them pretty mediocre. It's another uh, high C tier to me. MP7 is my favorite CR SMG. And it recently got buffed. And when I last played with it, I actually loved it in C um, normal mode. So I'm going to put this on a really low A tier. Like it's right at the edge of A and B. But I'm going to give it the benefit of the doubt. If you want an SMG, like a CR SMG, this is the way to go, for sure. Um, Caltech KSG, this was my favorite shotgun. And I use this on Lighthouse. I don't have much reasoning to, um, to why I did. But this gun was so good on mid-range for a shotgun, that I could barely believe it. There was this package... Maybe it's still there. But I would keep renting this 40k package. Uh, I think they removed it. Yeah. That was a package that gave you the um, KSG. And some skill that I didn't care about. For 40,000 CR. And I would buy that package. And I would play with the KSG all day long. And in that day I would earn more than 40,000 CR again. And then I would just keep buying it and keep using it. And I was just getting pro kills and quad kills on Lighthouse with this shotgun. But now with the increased armor of everybody and increased health. It's going to be a high C tier to me. But this was definitely my favorite shotgun back in the day. Combined with the um, ICH. Uh, DTSRS. High visual recoil. Generally a good semi-automatic rifle. Probably my favorite semi-automatic rifle. Uh, this was the gun to rent if you had that um, 20 double kills with sniper rifle contract. This was the gun to go to. So I'm going to put in a B tier. I think it's generally a good rifle but not that special. Uh, G36C. I think I have a really old video on this. And I tossed it in a day. Yeah. You had to do 100 triple kills to task this gun. And you would get this scope that looked really promising to me. But I didn't actually know how it looked when zooming in. So I spent an entire day doing 100 triple kills with this gun in a single day. I unlocked the scope. I put it on. The scope was tiny and unclear and I hated it. So that was like years ago. But in general, I don't like this gun too much. Well, I don't know. It's a decent gun but I would never use it. If I wanted to win basically. So I'm going to put it in a. Um, really high C tier. I think for it. I feel, it feels more like a set free gun to me. 
but yeah, it's not a bad rifle. AK-74. I have a pro kill video on this gun before it got customization with how accurate this gun was. Like the amount of headshots you could get on mid range using this gun and the really nice huge scope on it was actually insane. Like this was one of my favorite assault rifles not too long ago. Um, I would have probably put it in a really high A tier back then. Now it got customization. Uh, it still has the scope. I think it got a bit worse of customization. But I'm going to go wild here. I really loved this gun. I really loved it before. So I'm going to put it in A tier. And then the Chris Vector SMG. Um, it's a C tier for me. Like the recoil, the accuracy. It, it's This this gun is kind of triggering. Because the real life Chris Vector has really low recoil. But because that would be too overpowered, they just made this gun with a ton of recoil. But this gun is basically only good for like really close range. And I think definitely with the many alternatives there are to it. I don't really see a reason to use this gun. But it's still decent at what it's made for. So that's why it's a C tier for me. Um, this is this was my favorite weapon set back in the day. Sphinx, best CR pistol. Not as good now. Now that everybody has armor. But I'm still going to put it at a at a really low B tier. Just because I loved this gun before. Uh, I definitely used it on um, Lighthouse again a lot. I think even though the accuracy is not that good. Um, it felt really accurate for some reason. I really love the feel of this gun. So that's why it's a B tier for me. Uh, the... Yari, Jin, Pistol, Greg, blah, blah, blah. I know a lot of people love this gun. Yeah, when it came out, a lot of people love this gun. But I've never been a huge fan of it. I'm going to put it in C tier because I know it's better than these pistols again. But personally, it's not that impressive to me. Uh, Enforcer, my favorite. No, it's not. My second favorite automatic pistol. It's pretty close to the Glock to me. Uh, I would say this is arguably the best pistol in the game. Arguably. It's an automatic pistol. It still feels really accurate. It's quite powerful. And yeah, I'm going to put it in A tier actually. Because I think it's a really versatile pistol. You have to, you can do it on any range. Uh, long range gets a bit tough. But you can definitely still use it on long range. Don't, don't look at the damage drop off. It's lying to you. So, especially with the headshot multiplier. So this is... One of the best pistols in the game for me. It's an A tier to me. Um, FN. I believe this is the favorite CR pistol of a lot of people. Um, personally, not a huge fan again. I guess I have a kind of a weird personal preference in some ways. But objectively, I would say this is a low B tier. Subjectively, so I'm going to put it in a uh, C tier. Just because I personally don't like it that much. Uh, the VSS Ventores. It's a good question. I have very mixed feelings about this. Especially with the customization. And the really high damage. I feel like people started to use this more as a... Um, since it became automatic. I feel like people started to use this more as like a 10 round really powerful sword rifle. Than as a sniper what it's made to be. So... If you use it as a 10 round really powerful sword rifle... I'm actually going to put it in B tier. Because that's how I've been using it since it became automatic. And I think it's really good at that job. But making this gun automatic kind of ruined it for me. Because they gave it a completely different purpose. So yeah, for me right now. You can put a red dot on it. And then you can use it as like a like an extra powerful low mech SVL Cobra. And then it's a B tier for me. AK-105, my favorite CR gun. And one of my most used guns in the game. And then it got customized. So I actually have a pretty far customization on it. Just because I bought them. They had, don't, don't shame me for it. And I made the gun unbreakable. This gun used to be S tier for sure. It was one of the best guns in the game. I had no desire to buy GP guns for a very long time. Just because my... Um, my good old AK-105 could keep up so well. Right now, 
I would say, especially with the customization, I'm just going to say it's a really high B tier. I want to put it in A tier, but I kind of feel like it doesn't deserve that with the amount of great assault rifles there are these days. But back in the day, definitely S tier. Now, not so much. Uh, RPKT. You need fire stabilization for it. Really low accuracy. When fire stab kicks in, it's kind of powerful. But then again, that kind of only works against like uh, against weaker opponents. So I'll put it in C tier. I think that's pretty generous. It's it's generally not a very good machine gun to me. Uh, P90. I'm kind of thinking about the CSGO memes right now. About this is like the noob gun. Um, high C tier. Pretty good SMG. I think if you're a less skilled user that wants to use an SMG. Like a CR SMG, this is the way to go. 9A91. Okay, so when I said before, there were um, two CR guns. The, the M4A1 and the AK-105. That people were like saying, this is the best CR gun in the entire game. There was like a small percentage of um, a leader, so to speak, that said, no, it's a 9A91. And the stats on it used to be insane. I kind of didn't like it because the mag was kind of small, but um, to toss this you had to get 50 triple kills, which um, weird flex but okay, I did it in one day again, and it felt off. I think this gun was S tier as well, with the AK-105, but something felt off about it which made me prefer the AK-105, but still, especially with customization, I still think it's a really good gun. I would definitely put it in A tier. If you're looking for the best CR gun, yeah, you should probably try this out, see if you like it, if you manage to task it. I don't know if they change the task. Oh yeah, it's double kills now. Okay, it's easy as fuck to task now. If you want the best CR assault rifle, you should try this out. Maybe you'll like it. AWM, C tier. I think sniper rifles in this game are kind of weak because of how good assault rifles are on range. Um, yeah, it's really powerful, but... I never really liked it. It's just a C tier sniper after me. Uh, AEK, especially with full customization, I think. Yeah, I'm quite far. Such a low recoil, accurate, powerful assault rifle. I don't know how many people actually agree with me on this, but I put this on S tier. This is one of the best guns in the game for me, and I still absolutely love it. I can't wait to unlock the camper sight. Yeah, I. It, it, I, I have a long way to go before I get there. But this is definitely one of my favorite guns in the game. I think I have it. Yeah. I have it equipped as well. Uh, AK-12. When it had the, the really fast reload back in the day. Like you would put on the scope. And then the reload was like 100 plus or something. Or like 98 I believe. This, was, this is one of the best guns to own noobs with. I think if I had to say... This is one of the guns I got the most legendary kills with, because it has such a big mag, and the fire rate is kind of slow, which helps with preserving ammo, and it's really powerful and accurate. So if I wanted kill streaks on lower level opponents, I would always go with this gun, because it's just so. It's just made for kill streaks. I think competitively, if you play good players, this gun is kind of a lot worse because it's too slow. So I'll put it on a B tier because I still think it's a really good gun. Uh, ACR, one of the best guns in the game. A lot of people use this in a, as an alternative to the Novesk. I always preferred the Novesk. I didn't really care for the plus 40, um, for the plus 10 rounds you got compared to the uh, Novesk because I never really used them. But I'm going to put it in S tier. I think this is one of the best well rounded assault rifles. But to me, when I used the Novesk, I tended to get a lot of headshots. And when I use this gun, I tend to get a lot of body shots and kind of messy sprays. Which were forgiven with the larger ammo count. But it didn't feel as nice or as clean to me. So I would say it's low S tier. I, I would pro I'm really tempted to put it in A tier, but I'm still going to keep it in S tier. Uh, MDR, uh, recently nerfed. I never really liked this gun anyway. I don't like the feel of it. But I can objectively acknowledge that it's still one of the best rifles in the game. So I'm going to put it on A tier. I would assume some people would definitely put it in S tier, especially pre-nerf. But for me, it, it just doesn't really feel right. So 
yeah, this is an A tier gun for me. Um, UMP. I think they made a double kills again, the task. Oh, it's classified. Okay, it was triple kills. Maybe they made a double kills. Easy to use gun. Good against low levels. Pretty, it's, it's not good against higher levels in my opinion. It's pretty fun to use. I kind of like tasking to be honest, but... Uh... It's a high C tier. Uh, no, that okay. I can't, I'm thinking back at what guns I put in C tier. I don't think this gun deserves to be there, so I'm gonna put it in low B tier, just to keep my um, my list balanced a bit. So moving on to the last set that does include special weapons, Smith and Wesson. I think I use it on one of my guns. Oh yeah, this is what I um, use in my sniper loadout. This is once again one of the best guns in the uh, one of the best pistols in the game to me, uh, along with the Glock, the Enforcer, and the Deagle. But personally, I use this one le um, least because generally, for like longer ranges, I think um, for like longer ranges, I prefer to use the Deagle over the Smith and Wesson. Maybe it's just some nostalgia because when I started playing. I used the Deagle a lot and then Smith and West basically came into the game. But I always prefer the Deagle over this. I still think it's a really good pistol. Uh, I would definitely put it in B tier. I think for the right people this is an A tier weapon. Um, FN, FNP. Generally known as one of the better pistols. Once again, I'm not a huge fan. It's a good CR pistol, pretty good all around C tier to me. That's about it. Cold M19, insane reload speed. Um, yeah, apart from that, I don't really care too much for it. It's not that special. So, because of the reload speed, I'm gonna put it in high C tier. But that's about it. Um, the name alone, S S V U A S, automatic sniper rifle. I I dislike the idea of automatic sniper rifles. I think it has too much recoil. Kinda unsure where I wanna put this. I'm going to put it on a high C tier. I don't like this at all. It, f it feels way too... Um, feels like it has way too much recoil to be a good use. Spaz, generally known as the best shotgun, I would say. Um, especially with customization, you can definitely improve it a lot more. I'm going to put this in a B tier. If you want to use a CR shotgun, it's probably a way to go. I'm just going to... That's better. Scar H, it's a pretty tough one to me. Because of the fire rate, the gun generally isn't S tier. But besides that, the one of the things, a huge issue with it, is that the um, repair costs are insanely high. So if you would use this gun, you basically have to either unbreak it, which is quite expensive, or basically have tons of CR just to keep repairing it. So just because of that, I kind of see it as a GP gun. Because I feel like you have to uh, spend 555 GP just to properly use this. If you do, it's an A tier to me. It's a really good assault rifle. Probably, yeah, it's one of the best CR assault rifles in the game. Some maybe call it even one of the best um, in general. It's just way too expensive. RPD. I'm not going to try to pronounce the other name. It's too slow. It's powerful. It's C tier. I think generally um, really slow guns aren't really viable. So I think that's why I, I tend to put them in C tier. X95. Here's going to be a controversial opinion. This for a while at least was um, like quite recently. I think 2018. This was my favorite CR gun. Especially with full customization. This is a beast to me. I love how it feels. I love how it plays. It um, plays really similarly to one of my favorite Battlefield 4 guns, whose name I actually forgot. <laughs> but this is going to be really controversial. But I'm going to put this in S tier. I think it's one of the best CR guns to me. I love the feel. Especially if you fully customize it, you got to put a, um, a camper on it, and I think an OSS. I might be wrong, an Osprey. I think it was an Osprey. That I used to have on it. One of the best CR guns in the game. S tier. Very controversial opinion I think. I don't think almost anybody would put actually an S tier. 
but I absolutely love it. Uh, AN94, broken shit. Yeah, this gun is broken. I don't like how it feels, but objectively, I know it's broken. I know it's insane. It's an A tier. I don't like using this gun at all. It doesn't feel right. It doesn't feel fun. But the gun is just so broken and it's really good to be honest. <clears throat> so it's definitely a um, high A tier. If I would like it, probably would have been an S tier, but... Um, SKSS. Yeah. I use this for one of the contracts. In hardcore, it's really good. In normal mode, it's... It's alright. It's the best carbine in the game, sure, to be honest. Um, and because of the 30 rounds, I'm going to put in a low A tier. I think if you want to use a carbine and you're really into that semi-automatic style, or just really into hardcore, definitely use the SKS. I think the um, the DTS res that I mentioned earlier for exactly using it in hardcore as the semi-automatic rifle is basically a budget SKS. Death crew. This, this was an S tier gun to me. I used it on Sawmill, I used it on Evac. If your opponent had no armor, and with the good old overpowered fire step, this gun was absolutely insane. I would easily rack up pro kills with it. Currently, with the amount of people that use armor and have high HP, this became a lot less viable. So, I'm going to put it on, um, it's a good question. Just because it was an S tier to me before, I'm going to put it on a really low A tier. I kind of have bias towards it. It's probably more of a really high B tier, but I just wanna I wanna put an A tier to be honest. Or assist, most popular sniper rifle. Then I've got customization. Here's another controversial uh, opinion. I think I made a video on this. Yeah, I made the video on the Orsis getting customization and if it ruined the gun. And I said no. The, the customization made this gun better. When this gun got customized, everybody was complaining because the gun became slower. I think reload got slower, fire speed got slower, um, fire rate. The entire thing became much slower and people started disliking it and said customization ruined it. And I said, in that video, customization compensated for its weakest, um, its weakest link, how loud it was and it didn't have a silencer. If you use sniper rifles properly, like the long range picking off opponents, like you're supposed to. The customization made this gun so much better just because of the silencer. Like that alone made it insane to me. Um, and that's why I think the customization made it even better. But I'm still not going to put it in S tier. Because I don't think it's versatile enough for S tier. For me S tier is really just versatile guns. And this to me is just the best sniper rifle. So to me it's a really high A tier. And if you want to use a sniper and you want to use it the proper way. So you want to play long range, you want to pick off opponents. And just play like that, this is the gun to go. Especially with the, um, I think the zoom is pretty overkill. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the highest zooming scope you can put on it. And the reason I have it on it, this is because I play it long range like you're supposed to. Insane gun for that. Uh, no Vesk when it came out. 100 accuracy, 1 recoil. Probably one of the first guns to be rated absolutely overpowered. Um, it was S tier before. It was S tier since it launched. Then it got customized. It no longer is able to get 1 recoil. And people started complaining again. And the weird thing about this gun is... That if you just start using it and you have like the basic mods, this gun is like a low A tier to me. But once you get the full customization, like I have right now, you put like the camper on it. And I'm just going to switch to the set I actually have it on. Oh fuck, I clicked it away, that's why. Um, yeah, when you get like the full customization tree, you put the camper on it, you put the sexy camo on it. That really makes it better. You put... Um, the flashlight on it and a good silencer. This gun becomes S tier again. And although the recoil is literally 20 higher than what it used to be when it was S tier. This gun is still insane. I love how it feels. It's still a headshot machine. 
if you're a good player, if you know how to aim, this is S tier right here, probably the best assault rifle you could use if you're really a headshot machine. Um, SA-58, really high nerf by um, the massive increase in recoil. In hardcore, this was insane because it was really accurate, really powerful. Then with customization, once again, I put a camper style on basically everything except sniper rifles. It's the best side in the game for me. Even with customization, even with the nerf, still S tier. For um, long range assault rifles, because of the slow fire rate, if you if you burst fire a lot, and you like to play longer ranges. Amazing gun. Definitely one of the best assault rifles in the game still. <coughs> MPX, never liked it. It's a good SMG. Not a personal favorite of mine. I don't like how it feels. It's a low A tier to me. Still worth a try if you want an SMG. And then arriving to the final set so I can finally get a glass of water. TT pistol, insane and hardcore. Absolutely insane. Um, one of the best pistols. But the reason I didn't mention it before as one of the best pistols is because of the insane road you have to go down just to unlock it. So for most people, this isn't the gun worth considering. Unless you solely play hardcore or solely play with pistols, you should not get this gun because it's not worth the SP to unlock. But if you do, one of the best pistols, high B tier. If you only play hardcore, this is high A tier. But for a normal mode, I beat here. One of the best pistols for sure. Um, UZ Pro SMG? That's a good question. So if you look at how much XP it takes to unlock this. Most people who go down the gunsmith way want this. They want the no penalty, the damage loss. And the plus 5 accuracy, accuracy. This was basically the go to. These were basically the only skills you would buy in gunsmith. Or people, of course, would get it so they could get the, the I'm a noob who needs plus 30 penetration, which is completely overpowered. Brent. And if you do that, it's only 1 SP. It's pretty good. It feels like a weak um, keter, keter. But for a pistol, I'm going to put it in B tier because of that. Yeah, it's basically like having a budget keter, uh, keter. I don't know how you pronounce it. As a secondary. If you go down this way, so like you get these skills, and um, you mostly play um, deathmatch, close quarter combat, or you use a sniper rifle, probably worth the SP if you have it spare. Pretty good, pretty good. Not that uh, special though. MP5 SD, the most quiet gun in the game as far as I know. Maybe TT pistol with silencer. I'm not sure. In hardcore, this feels really solid. And the reason why it doesn't in normal mode is because it's too weak. Like 25 base damage, 20 base penetration. Um, if you're a low level user, I love this gun. I used it on Lighthouse. I, uh, I used it on Lighthouse. It's very accurate. Very good in hardcore if you're a hardcore player. Worth considering. It's, um, it's not that much. SP to unlock. I'm going to put it in the high B tier. Just because it's so weak in uh, normal mode. But in hardcore I think it's one of the best guns. Viclop. I controversially called this better than the Orsis. When the Orsis was basically the go-to sniper rifle for everybody. Because it had a sniper. Uh, because it had a silencer. And because it could one shot people regardless of their. Um, if they rented armor and they had extra health. This would always one shot. The Orsis would not. Now that the Orsis has a silencer, I would prefer the Orsis just because you don't have to spend tons of SP just to unlock it. Like, nobody's going to get these skills unless you're a sniper only player. If you're a sniper only player, you might want to take this over the Orsis. If you're not, you're never going to use this gun. It's still insanely powerful, insanely accurate. Definitely A tier to me. Actually. If I would say personal preference and how the guns feel to me, I would put this gun over the Orsis. But that's not going to be the case for most of you. Like they're both A tiers. And if you're a sniper only, you might want to consider this. If you're a hardcore player that is sniper only, get this. 
if you're a normal player that plays um, sniper only, get the Orsis, use the extra uh, SP in pistol skills and mobility. That's what I would do. Um, yeah. I feel like I could make a video about skill trees as well. If people want, like what skill tree to get for what playstyle. Just let me know. Let me know if ideas. Um, Vichyas. I made a video on how this was a new meta. It was obviously an S tier back then. Um, yeah, it died down a bit. Nerfed a bit, I believe. Still an S tier to me. I think the damage got nerfed. But the mobility, the reload speed, the accuracy, the low recoil, all still make an S tier to me. Uh, one of the, once again, this is one of those special guns that takes a lot of expensive skills that you would never get otherwise to unlock. So, if you have over 140 SP, this is worth getting. If you don't, don't bother, in my opinion. Um, SVL Mod Free. This was a classic S tier again. When this came out, this gun was really accurate. It had basically no visual recoil. And because it had no visual recoil, basically, but still had a high recoil on paper, fire step stabilization kicked in really soon, which made this even more overpowered. Um, did get nerfed a bit since then. It got customization. A lot of people stopped using it. Still an S tier to me. What I don't like about this community is that really often, when there's like a really overpowered gun, like you had to know Vesk, 100 accuracy, 1 recoil, good damage, uh, the mod free, same thing, it's insanely overpowered. Then the devs make one change, for example, mod free got more recoil, um, same for the Vesk, got, got a bit worse. And instantly people are like, this gun is ruined, they don't use it anymore. Just to look for the next broken gun. Like, even with the changes made, it got a bit more visual recall, it got customization. This gun is insane. Like, it's an S tier still. I don't know, as soon as a perfect gun gets a nerf, people stop using it because they're so used, they're so spoiled with how good the gun used to be, that they stop using it. This gun, one of the best assault rifles in the game. It's S tier for sure. One of my favorite assault rifles. Um, worth 7 SP. If you want it. But the reason why it's probably not worth 7 SP for most people. Is because assault rifles. Have so many um, good alternatives. Which make you think why spend 7 SP. Because uh, I said this before. For special guns. Especially the ones that take a lot of SP to unlock. They need to be the best gun. Because of how much SP you spend. I probably want to. I probably wouldn't repeat that now, because with the roulette um, exploit, so to speak, basically greedy devs, you can get as much SP as you want. 7 SP became basically nothing anymore. Like, people are not sacrificing anything anymore to get these guns, because they have so much SP now. But when you did have to sacrifice certain skills to get special guns, they had to be the best in their class. And I think guns that are, aren't would never be worth getting. Um, Sega FA, I hate to say this, it's A tier, um, I, I, I don't like you if you use this, it's a noob gun, it's, it's A tier, it's overpowered, it's, it's semi, it's a full automatic shotgun, like what do you expect, it's A tier, don't use it, don't get it, 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 it has, I think this is probably the easiest gun to use in the game, um, PKP, I'm gonna say something controversial again, D tier, awful gun to me, it's, it's, the mobility is just too slow, and unless you're a camper that basically sits on one spot, this gun is basically useless, constantly switching to your pistol, eh. it's just too slow to me, especially the reload speed and mobility, that's why it's a, it's a D tier to me, which I'm, I'm sure is probably a really controversial thing to say. So, um, yeah, that concludes the list, basically. I'll give you a quick rundown of the stats I usually use, so you can see, like, what guns I would use when I'm trying to win. 
Um, Glock, Novesk, one of my favorites. Deagle AK, one of my favorites. Enforcer AK. I think I only got this to... Um, yeah, I'm grinding the Dobby task. I normally don't have this equipped. Uh, SR3M for nostalgia. And then the horses if I feel like sniping. Like these... Um, this usually isn't in here. I usually have to... The ACR equipped, I think. Those are my go-to go guns normally. And I'm a competitive player. I want to win. Those are the guns I use to win. So that's about it for this video. That's basically every gun in the game ranked on my tier list. If you have any suggestions for any type of video about Conflict Wars, like a discussion video or like a topic to discuss, that wouldn't necessarily... Um, nothing like a montage or something. Even just guides or something. Let me know. And I'll try to um, make a video on it. If you enjoyed the video, you can like it. You can subscribe for more content related to all types of games. And have a nice day. Thanks for watching. And I need, desperately need to drink some water because my throat is killing me. Bye bye.